guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new this is another unbox flip through and it's for this beautiful deck here the goddess dream oracle okay by wendy andrew and this is a deck that i was waiting for and i was um on the fence because it's just 36 cards but it's really lovely and um, i really like the way of the way they are portraying here the goddess and i'll show you here what i mean okay it has it comes with this lovely box it is matte okay it has a lovely feel it's a bit different it is from uh, rock Paul publishing and you can see here you can open it on the side and the information here you can see is goddess is divine feminine awakened to the greatest magic held within she is maiden of creativity mother of love and crown of sacred wisdom so i really like it you can see here the they are really colorful and borderless you can see here comes this in this lovely box here okay it's a sturdy box and it is really a lovely box and there's no shine here and really you can see here this lovely leaves like inside and it's a lovely design you can see here is a sturdy box and it really is a lovely feel it's different here it's matte as you can see here and you can see guys the lovely backs okay the, the, the back of these cards are lovely really you can see here the flowers butterflies really really lovely it is a little bit shiny hopefully you can see here but it's not super glossy and these slide well okay it's nothing it's, it's not sticky here it comes with the guidebook here you can see and there's the first card here as well you can see here the first goddess and the interesting thing here of this is that the goddess names are only on the book itself not here they have keywords and the, another phrase more information but not the name of the goddess and this is something that i actually wanted because i wanted to connect with my intuition i wanted to use them even if not with goddess directly but with the message that is in here like oracle and i feel like this is really perfect the way i was looking for this guidebook is also lovely same feel here of the box Okay, uh, hopefully you can see this um, kind of um, way here, you feel a bit, okay? And uh, comes with, uh, it's all lovely here about the author, 83 pages. You can see here content, but also it's alphabetic order. It's an introduction about the goddess, and uh, it's about, there's some spread ideas. And also you can see here inside that they have uh, the colorful uh, picture here it, it is smaller but it's colorful like always i go through them as a quick flip through and i'll mix at the end and i read from the guidebook so you have an idea what it's on the guidebook as well okay and you can see here this beautiful straightforward here is the first one on the the front and on the book is abundance and the count your blessings and some i had a quick look on the guidebook i just got this but i opened already and had a quick look the guidebook will show the name of the goddess but not all of them have like a specific name some of them are like the goddess of air or the earth or something like that magic dance okay so it's not specific some of them will have the specific name and some will repeat like bridget came i think three or four times so i had a quick look and that's what i saw so you can see here we, we go through a quick video and i read from the book at the end okay so abundance counter blessings I feel like it does a really lovely uh, design, you know, you can see it's, it's different, really soft as well, and no borders, I like that, it's a good size, acceptance, the circle of life, really lovely, awareness, look beyond what you see, balance, light and dark, bravery, explore your inner wild place, places, bright future the darkest hour is just before the dawn and this is one of that is bridget but it's not the only time she'll come and also we'll see bridget a few times and um, connection we are all connected courage courage is the face of conflict and that's what i mean you can use as an oracle even without the energy of the goddess but you can go to the guidebook and connect as well with that which i feel like is very useful dance let your body move direction where are you where are you heading so there's some of them have questions i like that dreaming be aware of your dreams forgiveness compassion and kindness so beautiful you know the images are lovely free spirit be your own person 
happiness, joy of life, imagination, let your dreams take flight, in nature, connect with nature, in sight, be open to enchantment, inspiration, begin now, intention, spinning fate, intuition, inner wisdom, letting go, emotional release, life purpose, manifest your dreams, moon lore, ebb and flow, new beginnings, take a fresh look at life, opportunity, expand your horizons, passion, burning with life's passion, patience, through the darkness to the light, rhythm, tune into the natural rhythm of life, self-exploration, fairy tales and myths, self-love, love yourself, serenity, become lovely one, spiritual insight, sacredness, strength, know your strength, transformation, be open to change, trust, all is as it should be, your path, have courage to follow your own path. And that's what you see here, guys. There are 36 cards. I know there are not many, but I feel like it's really useful in the way I feel like the guidebook has loads of good information too. Like always, I will go through a quick flip through. Okay, let's try to mix here a bit. They're a little bit bigger like normally Oracle cards are. It's a good card stock, okay? It's a little bit shiny, but you can see here it's not stuck at all. I like that. So just to see here, new beginnings, take a fresh look at life, lovely. Okay, I read this on a guidebook and as you can see here, it is also the number here, 24, so it's easy to find, but it is in, I think in alphabetic order anyway, on the guidebook. Okay, 24, you can see here, it's a page and a half and there's always affirmations here at the end of each okay so i'll read here for you. you can see here colorful image here so which is really nice i'll read here for you new beginnings take a fresh look at life esther the goddess of spring and dawn invites you to take a fresh look at your life and anticipate new beginnings it is all too easy to fall into a rut and keep repeating tired old habits that are not bringing the best for you now may be the time to do things differently Foster a feeling of excitement within you. Be open and receptive to a different way of doing things. You may begin with small changes, simple things such as going to bed a little earlier or getting up earlier, eating healthier food, committing to daily exercise. A brisk walk can really blow the cobwebs away. Starting a gratitude journal, keep it by your bed and write three things that you have been grateful for each day before going to sleep or putting 10 minutes aside to meditate each day. Small changes can shift the way you feel and Esther will nourish your seeds of change. She will watch and guide you as something that starts very small within you can grow and take form. She will offer you kind reminders not to slip back into old ways to carry for yourself, allowing what is new to grow. Hair tells you that you don't have to keep following the same path. You can change direction whenever you choose. What new beginnings are you ready to make? Esther presents you with an egg, a symbol of your potential and holds it for you with the softest of hands. Your self-care and self-compassion can be its incubation. She asks you, are you ready to nurture your true potential? Affirmation. I create the perfect environment for my life, potential to flourish. I am open to change for the better. Very nice message here, guys. You can see here, this is the affirmation, right? And I feel like this is a lovely, you know, message here for us. Really confronting us to maybe start small, you know? You want that change, you want things to change, but maybe you're not doing anything about it. She gives ideas and simple things you can do can be um, 
you know, a gratitude journal can be starting meditation, something simple, you know, that you can do every day. And then you can count with Esther to help you out with these reminders throughout the day so you don't slip back into old habits. Okay, if you want to focus on that, I feel like this is a beautiful way to end this video. And uh, I'll leave you with this message. Like always, guys, the details that I use, the cards, it will always be in the description below. If you want to have them for yourself, I'll make sure to link it there. And I feel like this is a beautiful deck that you can use together with the goddess or just as a message of the day, adding on to readings, you know, even if it's not directly because of the keywords here, you can use it so much. So you definitely see more of this deck in my channel and I'm looking forward to use it more. So that's what I'll leave you here today, guys. As always, let me know if you like it and I wish you a lovely, blessed and healing day. Thanks for watching.